vibes cartel will be a big problem for the prime minister of jamaica and the current party in power this is why i'm just gonna ask people ask are you gonna sue for for, for losses what, what what's what's your what's your thought right now i said remember you know mm. just the the last leg of the case what do you call it the privy council no not even privy council after that when you come back to jamaica yeah that little well five oh the re the reach the retrial re re in a court of appeal yeah. Day, yeah. just the affidavit them and the application them a 14 million jamaican dollar it cost me you mm -hmm. know that mm -hmm. privy council that about six hundred thousand pound mm -hmm. that a hundred odd million jamaican dollar mm -hmm. i want to start talking about the jamaica the appeal, Jama right now the jamaica first trial Mm. You understand? So that's supposed to answer the question. So that's a yes. Man, the government gotta pay, boy. Lord have mercy, they are going to pay. They are gonna pay in full. I have to tell you that right now. The next reason why Vibes Cartel will be a big problem for the Prime Minister of Jamaica is he has been very verbal about allowing a next political party to take leadership. What's the symbolism of the orange bandar? There's some strange reason when I never had to go grow up or the community where I come from. So I just like the colour, you know? So the, the colour has no symbolism, no meaning in it, though? It's just... That is the meaning. We like colour. We like colour orange. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's not because time come or nothing like that? Why is it time? <laughs> I have to take that top with Mark Golden because that's not a slogan for it. Yeah. Exactly. Even though my life, I'm going say I'm a favorite color, we still have to talk and buy us. I mean, I could see, I could see where, where, where Mark and Gia go do. With time power in the street. All right, all right. Another reason why Vice Cartel will be a big problem is because of the law and it's working for him. Paragraph 238 is the paragraph where eventually. The Privy Council use and uh, overturn the conviction. You see the paragraph at 238, he make, he make a joke and say, Tattoo it by your face. And he never know, say, I tattoo by his attack. Remember to like and subscribe because this is just about to get crazy. Why are we entertaining the Privy Council idea in the Constitution anymore? That's one more reason to move away from the Privy Council altogether. The fact that Andrew Holness is a Privy Council member. It, 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 it irks my skin. It, my skin crawls. Right? He, him, is a part of the Privy Council? Man, listen. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, hell yeah, no, man. What the fuck, man? Him? A man that has not declared his assets? A man that has all these allegations around his name of solicit enrichment? A man that is the leader of a party that has eight, not six, eight parliamentarians on the investigation for solicit, solicit enrichment? A man that has a gag order on them so they can't talk? Where's the integrity? How is this man a part of the Privy Council? Bruh, I am questioning the Privy Council, bruh. Just off that alone, I question the integrity of the Privy Council. That's just my opinion. You had your chance, Mr. Andrew Honest. You've been in power. In your time and in in um, Vice Cartel been in prison for 12 years, he's just one example. There's hundreds of examples of young men and women, especially men, Right, that are locked up, and um, it's you no know, the process. Where's the process? How do you lock up somebody for ten years? Uh, are you gonna say that's an isolated case? How does that happen? He's in prison for ten years, no representation, nothing. Right? Come on, man. We got kids that are homeless. So you got kids that are homeless. They get in trouble on the road, and you're telling me they're, they're they they pass eighteen and they just they just in prison. They just this is that's their life. The purpose of the government is to empower the people. Once you empower the people, you empower the country because we are the engine of that country. We are the fuel. There's no amount of infrastructure you can build. You keep talking about infrastructure. There's no amount of infrastructure you can build that's going to make Jamaica better. Make Jamaicans better and that will make Jamaica better. And I'm not talking about working no nine to five for no hotel. All right. I'm not talking about no customer care. I'm not talking about going on no slave plantation. I'm talking about having these people own skills in engineering so when you're going to build roads and you got those contracts when you're going to talk about dealing with machinery look at look at jps there's not enough trained personnel in, in the in the in the in the power company after one and a half month of burial people still don't have light what are we talking about man 
What are we doing as a country, as a government? What are you What are you guys doing? This is embarrassing. A little bit of rainfall in some places is back to square one and people are in, in another situation again because the gutters are not clean, right? Where are the contracts for people to get those contracts to clean the gutters so they can make revenue for their family? Mr. Andrew Holness, you're the one in power, right? Why do you that said you was going to bring change to this country, every time we hold you to that, you get upset and want to Stop us from critiquing what you actually do versus what you said. And God over everything, man. God is the greatest, man. I'll tell you that, man. And you know, I said, to be honest, I believe in a lot sugarcoat it. Mm. Before me is in that situation, I did a road. But they had a priest say, the God thinks so deep. You know what I mean? Because you know, he's not a religious person from them time. So whenever they did a priest that's so deep, and when I lie, you see, like Job and them man there, we know say them man they real, because sometimes when you have got through certain hardship, and you walk up in a certain city in a life, and I tell them man, if you're not turn to God, man, you're dead in a show. You know them weird so mm -hmm. you have to say in a prison or find that presence there and find the spiritual self, you know? And it's just so convenient that the Prime Minister choose to award these two talented young men right as Vice Cartel was released from jail. It gives me great pleasure to make these two acknowledgements. For Bounty Killer, Rodney Price, and being a man, Moses Davis. In the spirit of unity, in the spirit of our creativity, these two gentlemen have created a music genre. They have created pop culture. They have contributed to Jamaica's popularity around the world. On behalf of the people of Jamaica, we wish to acknowledge your work and contribution to Jamaica. This award should have been given a long time ago. This could have been done anytime, but why now? Zaga! For all these years, I've been waiting for this for all these years. It's been over a decade I cannot travel to certain country. This is certainly a Jamaican milestone. Dance are uh, the biggest contributor to tourism in Jamaica. Yellow! Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. I just want to say I'm humbled and grateful to receive this. Thank you very much. But thank you all of Jamaican people. Thank you each and everyone. Thank you for supporting us. This is something that a lot of us never get to receive while we can celebrate. And also remember, don't believe the obviously in this video. This video is all for entertainment purposes. All pro Jamaican. This is us. <laughs>